Hi, it's Dyke from Groovy Entertainment. Today we're going to have a book to read for you. Today's book is Curious George Goes to the Beach for 1999. So let's get started. This is George. He lives with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today the man had a surprise for George. He took George to the beach. They found a spot on the warm sand. Then another surprise. George saw his friend, Bessie. Look, Bessie, his, her grandmother said, it's curious George. But Bessie did not even smile. She had never been in the ocean before. She was scared. I know you're a good swimmer, the man told her. You'll be fine once you get in the water. Feeling better? Bessie walked towards the shore with her grandmother. George helped spread the beach blanket and set aside their lunch. He was looking forward to a picnic, but it was not yet time to eat. It was time to play. In no time, George was having fun. He learned a new game. He dug in the sand. And he made a new friend. Monkeys are good at making friends. When he took a break, George watched the lifeguard. The lifeguard sat in a special chair. Sometime he blew a whistle. And sometime he looked through binoculars. It looked like fun to be a lifeguard. George was curious. Could he be a lifeguard? Before long, the lifeguard took a break. Here was George Chance, watching the crowd from up in the special chair. George felt just like a lifeguard. He looked through the binoculars. There was a lot to see at the beach. He saw seagulls flying high above, and he saw Bessie on the shore. Below, she still had not been in the water. Then the lifeguard saw George. Hey, he yelled. That's no place for a monkey. George thought it was a fine place for a monkey. But he did not want to cause trouble, so he climbed down. Back at the beach blanket, George was hungry for a snack. No one would miss just one cracker, thought George. He took one out and put it on a napkin. It looked good. Now if only he had some cheese. Uh-huh, what happened to his cheese? Well, he just had to get another one. George found another cracker and then turned back around. But now his cracker, no, but now his cheese was gone. Who could be taking his snack? George was curious. He put down his cracker and waited. Now George saw who was taking his treats. It was a seagull, and he was still hungry. <laughs> George took another cracker, and the bird took it right out of his hand. What fun to feed a seagull. George saw more seagulls down by the water. Bessie was there. Wait, Bessie was there, too. George was curious. Could those seagulls be hungry? Indeed, they was hungry. Soon a whole flock of had gathered. George could not feed them feed them fast enough. Luckily, Bessie was glad to help. Out her way, right, out of her back, right, out of the basket came more crackers and cookies, a cake, and even the bread for the sandwiches. Still, the bird was hungry, but when George reached for more snacks, the back was gone. He and Bessie had so much fun, they didn't notice the tide coming in. They didn't notice the picnic basket was floating out to sea. George felt bad. He hadn't meant to lose the basket. Could there be a way 
to catch it. George fought and fought. Then he remembered the lifeguard. George was no lifeguard, but to save the basket, he knew just what to do. Quickly, he found a float. He found a float and carried it to the water. Jumping above, George began to paddle. He paddled out a little farther, and a little farther, until, and a little farther until finally he reached the basket. Besky cheered. Then, as George paddled back to the basket, wait, back to the beach, Besky swam out to meet him. Everyone was glad to see George safe on the shore. The lifeguard, who had been everything, wait, seen everything from his chair, said there was some pressure. George felt proud. The man with the yellow hat picked up the basket. He was carrying, but he was curious. George, this wait, George, is this our basket? He asked. Poor, poor George. After all that, the basket was empty. There was no picnic on the beach, and it was all his fault. Then Bessie, grandmother, said, Won't you join us for lunch? We had plenty, and look, now we have a reason to celebrate. Think to George. They didn't have a reason to celebrate. Bess Bessie was in the water and wasn't scared anymore. She was having fun. After everyone joined Bessie and George for a swim, it was time to eat at, at last. There was sandwiches, chips, banana, cookies, and watermelon. There was plenty for everyone. And there was even a little for guesses. The end. So that was Curious George Goes to the Beach from 1999. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a good day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.